So I set up a Bitcoin address here and set it up so basically if I send it a payment, it turns on the home theater. And the cool thing is I don't even have to send it like a, a big payment. It's a micro payment. It's under a cent, like a third of a cent or something. And then I send it. And then you wait a few seconds. <laughs> well, it was working. <laughs> yeah. Um, when I send bigger payments, it goes through faster. It seems to go through faster. So, like, if I do a instead, that's one cent yeah. instead of under a cent. There you go. Maybe it's too little. I was sending like a fraction of a cent. But maybe you can't be maybe cheapskate. It's, maybe it's, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. That was weird. And both times I've done it though under a cent, mm -hmm. it had problems. Most people wouldn't send under a cent. Yeah. That's weird. Interesting. But as a proof of concept. Yeah, it's a proof of concept because now you can think about what that can be used for. You could use it for vending machines, you could use it for, I don't know, karaoke rooms, you could use it for uh, any service based car, thing, yeah. like pretty much anything. Uh, you could automate it so that things unlock or things start working as soon as a payment is received. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit hard to do that sort of stuff with credit cards and banking the way it is right now. Yep. And this is more secure than say like the tap? Than which? The tap. People tap. tapping with their credit cards? Uh, Where you don't even, like, anybody can just grab a credit card and use it? Yeah. This is, um, it's a totally different thing because it's decentralized. Yeah. So it's not like, um, there's certain way, there's new co uh, security concerns, but the actual network itself being secure is, yeah, it's pretty bulletproof. Cool. Because it's a decentralized network. Now we can watch some movies. <laughs> Very cool.